Hi. I am going to show you today the move tool, the zoom tool, the hand tool, and the eyedropper tool. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is the move tool. Um, I'm going to create a new layer for this. And I need to draw something, so let me get a little object here. Now, clicking on the move tool, which if you hold your mouse over it tells you you can use the letter V as in Victor on your keyboard to select that tool. Moving your mouse to the top of the object, clicking, holding, and dragging. Oops, it didn't grab it that time. We'll actually move this around on the page. Alright, now keep in mind if you continue to draw on the same layer, the move tool is going to move everything that is on this layer. So if you want things to act independently, you need them on separate layers. An example is I will, um, I guess, just draw something else but in a different color. Oops. You can see I draw perfectly in this program. Okay, move tool again. See how they're both now selected. So, oops, I cannot get my mouse to move anything. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. I think I'm having some memory issues, so I'm running too many things again. Anyway, now the zoom tool. Click on the zoom tool. Plus sign means to zoom in and minus sign means to zoom out by clicking. Now you can use shortcut keys uh, to select the zoom tool and that's the letter Z. Now to actually zoom in and zoom out um, control plus zooms in, control minus zooms out. Um, you can also use the navigator to zoom in and out. Uh, using this slider or the buttons. And if you have it uh, zoomed in quite a bit, uh, you can actually move your mouse to this little red box and a hand tool appears. You click and you can drag to move it around. And then that way you don't lose your focus because you have the navigator over here on the right. All right this to where you can see everything again. Okay, hand tool. It doesn't really do much for you um, if you are not zoomed in. So the point of the hand tool is for when you are zoomed in a lot and you want to just refocus, you can click and drag. You can also temporarily access the hand tool by holding down the space bar whenever you don't already have that tool selected. For instance, if I click the Move tool, pressing the space bar temporarily gives me the hand tool so that I can move things around. It's not moving the object, it's just panning across the page. Okay. Now the eyedropper tool. Let's say that I have a gray selected already in my colors, but I want this red. The eyedropper tool just allows you to click on a color so that it becomes the foreground color that you can paint with. So to give you an example, paintbrush, here we go. It's also good for when you import a picture and you want to sample one of the colors inside the picture in order to paint with or to use as text. With every tool that you select, the move tool or the zoom or the hand or the eyedropper, Notice that up here you have an options palette. For instance, with the move tool, you can set it to auto select a layer based on what you click on the screen. Um, I use this quite a bit, but you have to be careful because it'll cause you to change layers if you aren't paying attention to what layer you're on. So, as a beginner, I recommend you take this check out and you make sure that you pay attention to what layer you are on when you're working in Photoshop Elements.